I got a juice, 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 Hey, hey, you're watching Still Got the Juice TV. It's your girl, Bee, with this lipstick and lyrics. And today's featured artist is Polo. Paul. Paul. Mm, okay. I mean, you know, everybody call me Polo. So. Everybody you know, call you Polo? Yeah, just if you know me. Oh, so, yeah, you know, don't worry about it, is what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Straight out of Brooklyn, what brings you to Still Got the Juice TV? July 4th. <laughs> July 4th, you're dropping a project. Well, a project. well, I wouldn't even say it's a project. It's just an EP. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like, because uh, they're waiting for a project. So, you know, I feel like this is something to hold you over. And you make it. We formulated it like a project. But, you know. But you're also dropping three projects this year, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, this is, you know, I, I drop a lot of singles, so instead of waiting mad weeks to get those singles, I just, I formulated at least five singles for you. Four of them is gonna be on the next album, but you feel me? It's, it's definitely, yeah, I'm gonna let the clip loose, so <laughs> don't worry. I was about to say, it's safe to say you're like really not playing right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us the title of the EP and the inspiration behind it? Okay. Um, if you're reading this, it's not the tape, because it's not the tape, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, in this time and age, you know, uh, if you know where the original title's from, if you're reading this, it's too late. That's a Drake title. So this this um, little EP is all Drake samples. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, all Drake samples just to remind niggas like what he did for the last 15 years. You know? Okay. You know, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not saying who won or lost. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> let's remember. You feel me? Like, let's remember. Controversy. You know? With you, with you having a bad history of battle rap, yeah. who do you think really won with that, with your expertise? Oh, my expertise, yeah, Kendrick had to win, yeah, like, we, we can't, we can't deny that. I mean, I could tell you exactly how he would, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, what's clear-cut and not debatable, but, like, you know, I ain't gonna shit on the boy, you feel me? You boy got it, it's not like that, see, you know what I'm saying? We, we, not go, we not gonna debate it, you know, but those, those last three tracks is is what really sealed the fate. You feel what I'm saying? Because Meet mm -hmm. the Grams nullified Family Matters. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter how good Family Matters was, because in that day, in that time, oh, you got another kid you hiding. So, mm -hmm. you know, it nullifies it, and then you, you call it Cap, and then he pulls Not Like Us. So he corrected everything that you, 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 you bitching about the song. Now it's over, and it's a hit, and it's mustard. And it's West Coast. <laughs> See, it was it was a plan. It was a setup. Now I say, if Drake baited and dropped the first two of Family Matters, then got hit with Meet the Grabs, and then he had over Kendrick just opened this up. We would feel different. We would feel. I swear to God, we would feel different. But you know, nigga wanted to be braggadocious. Nigga wanted to lay the bomb and thought it was gonna be enough. You feel me? But. I just love that it was a win for hip hop all around. Cause in the beginning, I felt like it was a lot of radio play that you know Drake had the upper hand with, and a lot of people got mad that you know Kendrick came to lectures. But yeah, I mean, who's who? but I I fucked with you for real. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't I didn't have it be in push ups, but I fucked with you for real. And now when it's all over, you appreciate it just like a Kendrick track. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? So I respect it, you know. I started that question off with bringing up your expertise as a battle rapper. Yeah. So I want to know your story about being a part of the URL. Oh, okay. Um, Snake Rap League. Yes. Uh, so July 13th, I'm battling Mike Bands on the URL Crucible. So that's like, that's a big deal. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's like the NBA of battle rap. Like, so. And how do you prepare for that? Um. I would say, like, just take the battle serious. I mean, we all at a level of professionalism, so 
you have to like if you don't take ser it seriously you're gonna get embarrassed so it's your it's your call and this is your biggest this is like trying out for the NBA this is Allen Allen Iverson off the motherfucking record court yo let's see what you what you got we're going down to Maryland oh but it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time <laughs> When I asked you how you prepare for it, yeah. it was essentially because I want to know if you go about it the same way that I go about interviewing artists. I have to research. Oh yeah. Are oh, you going to research these guys? Uh, guys? He's, he's already. Uh, I've already researched him. Oh. And you know, it's crazy the beauty of battle rap, right? You could do your due diligence, right? Mm -hmm. And you can just miss something really big, mm -hmm. and or you catch it right before the battle. Which I did, so so we gonna have a good time. That's crazy. Um, one thing I know, me personally being a music lover, the transition for battle rappers to becoming an artist is a little risky. It's a little wait, wait, artist? Oh, wait, wait. From battle, a battle rapper, rapper artist? to becoming an artist. I was an artist before battle rap. Oh, so you just veered off into this? Yeah. See, see, I I tell you, you feel what I'm saying because um back in the day, I feel like. I, I was focused on getting credit lyrically yeah. and everything, you feel what I'm saying? And not understanding, like, you know, just ego shit, you know, coming to God, oh, that's first high. Yeah. Bullshit, for me. Then I got into a ring where, oh, you get credit for this. And I, I got enough credit where I don't care. So okay. now it's made me a better artist, I would say. I only think that way because I know a lot of battle rappers that don't know structure. So it's like you just rap yeah. and rap. But it's like, I get your perspective because you literally, it seemed like you wanted a little validation that you're a lyrical artist in a moment. Yeah. But you got that. Yeah, you know? I, I, I completely, it's it's almost to the fact, all right, for example, right? Um, You know, I've been doing music for that long, right? So I jump into battle rap and now I've made it, what, six years in. And now I'm, you know, on the URL, but I'm, I have actual friends, like artists that I've met along the way. Like, fuck my music. I can say disrespect the craft, because I love my craft mm -hmm. and whatnot. But it's another elevation of the craft. It's a whole other realm. You feel what I'm saying? So they respect me on a whole new level. Okay. And you know, you know, it brings, and you know, the thing about battle rap fans is that they, they support everything. Yep. So. And they purchase. And they purchase, yes. Yeah. So. And it's like it builds a core core problem. For real. Alrighty, we talked about your project. We talked a little bit about you. Mm -hmm. I want to have a little fun and bounce around a little bit. Okay. I have a segment called Spit It Out. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. We're gonna try to get it done. Anybody want to put their timer up, or you want me put my timer up? Oh, it's like a series of questions that you yeah. have to answer. You gotta get as many questions out as much as possible. Okay. Alright. Siri, can you send oh no, this ain't Siri. Which one is it? Oh, what's your name on there? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> one minute and thirty seconds. Timer. One minute and thirty seconds. Counting down. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Favorite Drake song. Fuck. Um. Ah, best I've ever heard. Best place to eat in Brooklyn. Hung song. Favorite battle rap moment? Fuck. I hate you. Oh, um, <laughs> Pass. Most Pass. underrated rapper? J.I.D. Mm, Favorite TV show? Fuck you. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Because I just, it's, I watch too many. Oh, um, I, I give it to power. Power. Okay. I give it to power. Fuck it. Go to studio snack. Sour Patch. Summer or winter? Winter. What's your dream superpower? Um, teleportation. Hidden talent. Um, I know how to fight. <laughs> Best advice you ever received? Um, fucking win, man. Favorite place to write? Mm. At the beach. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Brush my teeth. Dream collaboration. 
I think you know the answer. <laughs> You're done. Uh, yeah. You have one more, oh. but. No, nah, I was here. You know what I'm saying? Give it biggest pet peeve in the music industry. Um. Money. Oh yeah. <laughs> money. Yeah. I so, think so. Yeah. Um, I'm hyped to play that game with you. Mm-hmm. Still being fresh. Yeah. <laughs> I like that game. I like that. I like that. Don't steal it when you're going out drinking. I feel mm-hmm. like you're gonna do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to know what's next for you next year, because you told me this year. Oh. You like, told me this year, but mm-hmm. what's next year? 2025. Everything's ringing. Yep. So like, I mean, I gave you the content all, all this year, right? So it's it, we, it's gonna be everywhere. I'm I'm just not gonna stop. I de- definitely got another probably two other projects, three other projects. In the top. Yeah, I, I actually had four. I'm just okay. gonna give y'all three. Okay, just. For what I'm saying, like, so. You got a spoon feeder. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the point. So if you're reading this, it's not the tape. It's just food feeding you summer in the 90s too. Mm-hmm. Lyrical Sexy Deluxe. Lyrical Sexy Deluxe. No, Lyrical Sexy Drip Deluxe. So LSD Deluxe. LSD. Okay. LSD. That's the genre. I yeah. have the LSD. Part yes, of yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it stands for. That's, that's what, what I it stands for. I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm sorry you got to leave us, buddy. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? I absolutely had a good time. <laughs> okay. What song are you doing with a mic performance? Let's get that. Uh, leave it. Leave it. The first song of the, right. the EP. So. And before you leave us, last but not least, tell us why you still got the juice. Um. Oh, what what does still got the juice mean? Because uh-huh. it's more than a movie. Uh-huh. It's a it's a reminder mm-hmm. that you still in it. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Polo Polo. It's a wrap.